here. You see the screen, right? Now you see the vocabulary yes. bar. OK, Malik is here. Yes, Mr. OK, welcome back. Welcome. Um, vocabulary, this is uh, the group words or the word bank. You will need them in your next task and reading. Let's read these vocabulary. Ambivalent. The first word is what? Ambivalent, which means hesitant or undecided when you have two or more than two decisions like imagine that somebody wants to go to the park oh should i go no i want to go to school no i want to go to my friend's house so he can decide what to choose so we named him as what hesitant so if I described you as ambivalent, it means you are what? Hesitant, which means undecided, or let's say can't decide what to do. Number two, prickle. Prickle means to sting. Sting like when the ant stings you or when the scorpion stings somebody or stab slightly so if i said prickle it means stab you stab means to push somebody with like um a hurtful substance like a knife okay like a sword so if you said stab it means to stab him with a knife or with a sword or even when you stab your friend when you're kidding with him with your pen with your pencil to hit him in his um, arm or in his shoulder so prickle means to sting or to stab slightly three sway means swing and this word imagine the swing that you are playing with swing which is mean unstable okay unstable because the sway or the swing is not stable moving right moving left moving up and moving down the same meaning is stagger stagger means to swing or to lurch these words have the same meaning okay so have a look on these words ambivalent hesitant prickle sting or stab sway to swing stagger to swing or lurch any question about these four words before i go further or the meaning is clear no the meaning is clear all yes. yes okay next word instinct it means your natural sense. Natural sense mean, means what we do by our nature. By our nature, like the baby cries when he hears his mom's sound. This is his nature, so this is his instinct. Okay, the baby always cries if somebody else carried him because he knows exactly the hands of his mom so this is instinct or this is nature so what we do by our nature it's instinct humble fumble means handle awkwardly when you deal with something when you deal with something in an unsuitable way okay or in wrong way when you deal with something with a wrong way it means you handle it awkwardly so it means fumble five batter or battered means to strike or to beat strike means to hit or 
crash into something and beat. The meaning of beat is clear. When you beat somebody, it means you hit him. OK, so. Batter means to strike or to beat. Reverent. Reverent. Deep respect. If somebody or something should receive a great respect. You can say or describe it as reverent. So you say this statue is reverent or we deal with this statue reverently. It means in a great respect. Next. Clutch. Clutch means to grip or to hold. It's easy, clear. Rascal. Is valen. If somebody is wicked. OK, or mischievous. So it's described as rascal. If somebody is mischievous means his nature is bad. OK, his he is ill mannered. Ill mannering. It means he deal with people with a rude behavior. So he is villain. Or rascal. Banish. Means to disappear. Soggy means humid or wet. Is there anything? The last word devour. Devour. Like if somebody especially it's related to the word eat. If somebody is very hungry and eating everything in front of him, the meal, so you can describe as he is devouring the meal. Mr. I can't understand the meaning of risk. Risk? Uh, no risk. Ah, rascal. OK, we'll say it. Devour again means to consume. Consume if somebody consumed the whole meal. So he eating it strongly, you can say he devoured the meal. Or devour also can mean tear to pieces. OK, for rascal. Rascal Malik is the opposite of the word good. OK, or charity. The opposite, not the meaning. OK. Uh, the opposite of the word. I didn't Ooh. understand fumble. Which word? Fumble. Fumble. Yes. OK. <clears throat> we said fumble means what? You are supposed to deal with this task successfully, but you didn't, so you fumbled it. You understand what I mean? I okay. mean, you're supposed to answer 2 plus 5 minus 1 equals I don't know by the way, but imagine two, five, one, four equal four. OK, if you miss answered the question, so you fumbled it. If you miss dealt with any task, you fumbled it. You understand it now? Yes. OK, thank you. OK, let's go to the task. Malik. Yes. OK, good job. Continue. Hey, Malik, thank you. Uh, Mr. I sent uh, I sent all of them. All of them? Yeah, the khoif. In one message? In, uh, no, in, uh, the, it's not in one message, in, in three drafts. OK. Three padlets, but <laughs> with no name, n none of them including but name. I wrote one with my name. It's yeah, she, she yes. staggered over the sofa. OK. Uh, yes. Hala. Hala. This the, is you. Yeah, that's me. And the, okay. the on the right or sorry, on the left is mine too. Yes, OK, Malik. Yes, this is one he devoured yeah. everything on his plate. If I ever catch the rascal, I really wallop him. Mister, Good job. Yes, Mister, uh, you know the it, she staggered over the sofa. It's me, not Malik. This is what? The, uh, this sentence is mine. Uh, I don't know. Malik, I mean? Yes. 
Okay, Khaled. See. Okay. Thank you, Khaled. Khaled. Thank you. And um, below the lines devoured their prey, Anas. My friend clutched the phone. My friend fumbled my hand. No, this sentence is incorrect. Yeah, Anas. I woke with my father. Work with my father. Father, uh, reverently, this one is correct. Thank you. So number two needs to be corrected because the meaning is not clear. This one. <clears throat> but this one is mine. Which one? I wrote my name. OK. Um, OK, thank you for males. What about females? Messages are not enough. Hala. I managed to stagger the last few steps. Excellent. Thank you. Um, if I ever catch, I really wallop. OK, thank you. A reverent silence fell over the crowd. Okay. Who is that? Mine are blue. Oh, your uh, name? Alia. Yes, I corrected yours, Alia. Thank you. A reverent silence fell over the crowd. Unexpected blow didn't stagger his resolution. Yes. That's, yeah, that's me. This is Mike, a uh, reverent silence. Yeah, uh, yes, that's me. OK. Thank you. Good job. So. If I. Had. The lines devour and as Ayman sent three. OK, thank you, everybody, by the way. OK, reading one of the most fatal problems with the students. OK. Maybe not all of you, but maybe most of you has problems with reading, especially reading fiction. So how to deal with a text, especially a fiction text before you answer the questions? During reading, we need to ask these questions to ourselves. But don't forget to annotate beside each paragraph. What I mean by annotate, I mean to use or to write. Notes. Write what? Notes while you read, always use notes. It's really, really helpful while reading. We'll teach you how to write these notes. Notes means just simple hints to help you go back to the information you need easily. OK, what questions I should ask myself before I answer the questions? Number one, who is the narrator of the story? Who is telling the story? OK, and I didn't mean here who is the writer. Or who is the author because it's very different. OK, I'm not asking here about who is the writer of the text or who is the author of the text? The narrator who is telling the story. OK, and it is regularly one of the characters in the text. OK, the narrator is regularly one of the characters. Sometimes the narrator is the writer himself or the author himself, but mostly the narrator is one of the characters. So ask yourself who is telling the story? Which character exactly is telling me the story? Next question. When and where the story took place? And this is what we named before when we studied the first session as what? The setting. OK, the setting of the story. When the story happened. In 2005 and where at school. So ask yourself exactly when and where the story happened. Three, whose point of view is clear in the text? 
What I mean by whose point of view is clear in the text. I mean whose opinions appeared in the text. The story is being written from which one's opinion? My dad's opinion, my mom's opinion, my sister's opinion, or my personal opinions. So ask yourself from whose point of view the story is being told, which we named as first person, third person, and so on. Yes? Uh, I don't understand this question. Three? Uh, yeah, three. Um, OK, I can write a story. About Khalid. And I copied all Khalid's opinion, OK? So the whole story focuses only on what what Khalid thinks, what Khalid thinks. So here the story is written from which character's point of view Khalid. Right? Yes. If, if Mustafa, which is the narrator, is writing the story of what he thinks. What he believes, how he feels. So the story is written from. Oh, excuse me. Guys. Yeah, it's my personal of Mustafa, right? Yes. Yes, so this is personal Mustafa. Mr. But some, uh, sometimes it's written from multiple point of view. Yes, exactly. Sometimes. <clears throat> but for simple texts, it's mainly one point of view. For Khalid's opinion, if I'm talking about other people's opinion, the point of view is third person point of view. If the point of view is personal, I'm talking about my own experience. So this is first person point of view. We'll see now in the current text how we use the right point of view. Four, who are the characters? And here I'm not asking you about their names. Jack, Mark, Henry. No, I'm asking you about their role because this is what matters. So ask yourself if Jack is a teacher, Mark is an alien, somebody else is an officer and so on. Five, what is the general atmosphere? Very, very important question. While you read, try hard to decide what is the mood of the text? What is the atmosphere of the text? Is it cheerful atmosphere? Is it hopeful? Is it scary? Or is it gloomy or adventurous? So. Decide while reading what is the mood or the general atmosphere of the text. Question six. Is there any change in the text? This type of question is very necessary. Give it a greater consideration, please. What I mean by changing in the text? Any change happened in the text from better to worse? The text started with a bright and hopeful atmosphere, but later an accident happened that changed the atmosphere into gloomy, dark and disappointed atmosphere. This is change or vice versa. Maybe the opposite happens. The text starts with a darker atmosphere, but happiness prevailed the text at the end. So decide if the text led any change. The same question applied to the characters. What about your characters in the text? Did any character change? Sorry with no D. OK, did any character change from good to bad, good to evil or from evil to good or stayed good from beginning to end or stayed evil from beginning to end? So I hope these seven questions are clear. It's very important to understand those seven questions while reading the text. Fine, now we finished. The text, so let's go back to identify the type of questions you will encounter. One type of questions is to retrieve information from a text 
and this is the easiest one to do because retrieve information, it means you just find information from the text. OK, so number one, all what you will do is what? Find. Information, it means the information is already in the text. You won't do anything except you copy it from the text. This is the opening paragraph. And here is the form of a question. Where is Joanna at the beginning of the passage? Here are some options. Habiba, walking along the street in front of the town hall at the football stadium or outside school? Choose from them. Yes, select one of them. Walking along the high street. Mm. OK, in the first part, he said here. Joanna Morris complained impatiently to herself as she locked up the busy high street for her older brother. For five o'clock on the steps of the town hall. So what is the specific place in the high street? In the front of the town hall. Yes, exactly. So here is a tricky part. He gave you two places, high street and the town hall. But the town hall is the correct option because it is the specific place they are uh, standing. OK, from where I got the answer from the text directly, this is one type of questions. You don't need to do anything except copying the answer from the text. Another question is making inferences. Making inference means you need to guess based on the information in front of you. So in this type of question, you will need to think and you will need to tell me what you understand. OK, so you must understand what is written to answer. For example, here. This is a part of the text. The dragon stopped and looked at her intently with its bright eyes shining like two small bonfires. The word intently here he's asking you about. What does the word intently tell us about the dragon? Hmm. Let's first think about how to answer it. The question is not asking me about the meaning of the word. OK, so if you give the meaning, your answer is incorrect. The question is asking you about what this word told you what about the dragon. So your answer should be directly addressing the dragon looking at her intently. Intently means purposefully. OK. When somebody does something on purpose. On purpose means he intend. This is the same meaning intent or intention. OK, so if the dragon is looking at the girl with intention, looking at her with his bright eyes shining. So what do you think this tell you about the dragon? Can I ask? Yeah. Uh, I, I think it tells me that the dragon has evil intentions and is savage. Good job. Maybe he is severe enough or he's um, intending to attack her. OK, so this word when you say something Mr. happened or he is concentrating on the girl or on the girl. girl, so he yeah. maybe he is directing towards the girl. Yes. OK, or advancing towards the girl. Good job. So we have here two. Suggestions. Maybe he is planning to attacking her or 
he may be advancing towards her, right? Good job. This answer is not existed in the text, right? You will never find this answer in the text, but it depends on what? It depends on how you understand it. You should think for this reason, we said what? Guess. So Mister, this, yes. Can you write the answer? Yeah, write it on, on the board. Yeah, I wrote here attacking her or advancing towards her. OK. <clears throat> so um, this is a different type of question. So some question comes directly from the text. Other questions. Depends on your understanding. If you copied any line from the paragraph, your answer will be wrong. OK. Another question. And this part is already also copy directly from the text. Find evidence from the text. A question asks you to find quotation. We name it as what? Quotation or let's say quote. Quotation or quote means you use part of the text. Part of part of the text as an answer. So all what you will do is to copy the answer from the text. But the quotation you will use must be relevant to the answer. This is a question. Give a quotation from the passage which shows. Pay attention to the text. Hmm. The quotation you should identify. Doing what shows Joanna was not frightened by the dragon during the meeting. So we need now to identify that Joanna was not frightened. All what you will do, find any sentence from the text. This sentence must show that Joanna is not frightened. So I mean here the quotation you will write. Anybody read it will understand what? That she is not. Frightened. OK, Mister, I found it. OK, that's. <clears throat> excuse me, that she is not what? She is not right. frightened. R look at this paragraph. The answer is in this text. Find it. Mister, um, I found can it. I answer? Huh? Mister, I found it. Can I answer? Let's think first. Where is the exact answer about what Joanna? was not afraid, OK? From the dragon. Who can answer? Me. Can I, I'm Hala. OK, Hala, start. OK, she reached up to touch it. Excellent. She reached up to touch it. This is one quotation. So your answer will be only like this. She reached up to touch it. There is still another quotation we can write. Sir, can I? I know. Yes, sir, I know. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Anas? Uh, Sorry, Anas, I can't hear you. Flyer. Dragon for a flyer. Dragon flyer. So we copy this part. Yeah. No. No, Mister, I know it. I know. Yellow yeah, Malik. Uh, Jonas stare back. Yes, exactly. Stare back. Stare back means she is eager to look at it. When you stare at something, it means you look at something interestingly. You're opening your eyes. You want to watch. Okay. This is this. Easy answer. There is nothing different except to understand the quotation. The Bart Anson mentioned 
Anas mentioned dragon flyer. I told you the quotation you pick from the text should show the answer of the question. Anybody reads this quotation understands that this is an answer. OK, if we read dragon flyer. Dragon. Flyer, how can I understand that Joanna is not afraid when I read this part? Surely we don't. OK, so I need. A part from the text that shows me this Joanna was not frightened. So please be accurate when you pick quotations. OK, she reached up to touch it and Joanna stare back. Good job. Look at this question. Which two things are compared in these sentences? Here, she reached up to touch it. Suddenly, thoughts like small silver sparks were flickering across her mind. Dragon flyer, they cried, and were gone, only to return brighter and faster. The question here asks you to identify what are the two things that are compared to each other. Uh, Mr. I know. <laughs> Again, the question asked me what is compared to what? Okay. Mr. Can I answer? Mr. Okay, Can just I... <clears throat> what are the two things here? We compare them together. One. Uh, can I? Okay. okay. Uh, here, uh, like. Uh, silver spark and bright. Bright. What brighter. and what? Silver spark, spark. Yes. Uh, uh, and uh, brighter. And. Brighter. Brighter. No, no. Sir, Sir can I say? Yalla, Khalid. Sparks and thoughts. Yes, exactly. The silver sparks is compared to what? To thoughts. How do we know? With the simile. He said here thoughts. Like small silver sparks were flickering. So this is a simile. So why we studied the simile? To identify the comparison. What is being compared here? So this technique is what simile. He said that thoughts appeared as small silver sparks. So they said the comparison. OK, so he compared the sparks to the to the thoughts. OK, another question asking you about a word meaning or a phrase meaning from the text. So you will find the meaning in the text and you need to identify its meaning. Look here. Number one, he said, which verb in the fifth paragraph, which is the, the paragraph on the screen, OK, shows that the woman took the dragon quickly. So we need to find um, word in the text. Mr. Can okay. I, I know I, 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 do it, it. I know the answer. If. Can I answer? Who is that? I'm Hala. OK, Hala. Scoop. Yes, good job. The word is what? Scoop. Scoop means to grab or to take something strongly or fiercely. So here, pay attention to the form of the question. The question asked you to do what? Find a verb. Find a verb. It means if you give me a noun, your answer is incorrect. If you give me an adjective, the answer is incorrect. Only I need what? A verb. So please, please, please be strict when you answer. OK? Understand what exactly the question is asked you. Ask you about a word, give word. Two words, so it's two words. A phrase, so give me one phrase. 
complete sentence, so give me complete sentence, okay? Stick to the question. Fine. There is a word in paragraph six and another word in paragraph seven, which can mean the same. Write the two words. Here is paragraph six, the first paragraph, and there is paragraph seven, the second paragraph. There is a word in each paragraph that can mean the same. Yalla, Malik. Think about the answer, guys. Everybody think about it. I found Malik. No, it's Khalid. Khalid, wait, you Khalid. By the um, way, no, I know. It. Okay. Um, not listening and silently. Not and what? Not listening and silently. No, not listening. Somebody doesn't care. Silently, somebody is not talking. How they are similar. Um, can I try? Alia. Hi, Ali, you are there? Habiba? I'm thinking. Okay. Khalid? Yes, Mr. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think it's a bit funny and a bit strange. Big job, both words. Bit funny. And a bit strange. Okay. Hey, look at the word here. He said, Are you all right? Are you all right? You look a bit funny. Funny here, he doesn't mean that she is um, urging laughter or makes somebody laugh. He means look funny like something different than regular. Okay. Which have the same meaning as what? I feel a bit strange because this is not her nature. This is not her personality. OK, so he used here. You are, you looked a bit funny. He means like not regular, not as I always see you. And she see about herself also. I felt. A bit strange. OK. So also think about the answer when Malik said. Uh, Malik said not listening. And silent. Not. Listening. And silent how they are similar in meaning. Always ask yourself analyze before you answer. Criticize your answer. Comment. If somebody told you this answer, think about what he said. Silently, it means mm. I closed my mouth. The word of mouth is silent. So I, I won't talk. But is not listening. It means I don't care about what you say. OK. What sort of boy is Aaron? Look at this two part questions. Sometimes questions in the text contains two parts, A and B, or part of the question and another part. So you must answer both part of the question. Both part of the question must be related to each other because they are not separate questions, especially any question that asks you to say blah, 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 and why. So don't answer the first part and ignore or neglect the second part, which is why you must answer them both. OK, so he asked you, what do you think of Aaron as a character? You will say he is careless. 
then the second part of the question and why. So you must give a reason. Don't ignore any part of the question. Here in this part, A and B, he said write one phrase in your own words. Look at this word. In your own words, he means don't copy from the text. OK, again, warning, pay attention. If the question asked you to use your own words, it means you must paraphrase the phrase from the text using your own words. First part of the question here, write one phrase in your own words describing what sort of boy is Aaron. He means here he wants you to comment on his character. And we already commented on his character in the beginning. Yes. Anas, what do you think Aaron is? What sort of character he is? Uh, Mr. Aaron is careless because, because when his, uh, his sister uh, uh, like showed the jacket, she, uh, she was a little bit strange and, uh, and he told her, you are a little, uh, you are a little bit funny. Look, yeah, I say, yeah, Anas, your answer is inaccurate. OK, you said firstly, careless. First of all, I didn't ask you why. I ask you, I ask you only. What sort of character is Aaron in one phrase? It means your answer should be two or three words only. OK, okay. <clears throat> listen, 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 please first. Listen before you answer to answer correctly. The question asked you to do what? One phrase. One phrase means part of a sentence. Part of what? Oh. Of a sentence. Oh. So it means your answer may be one, two, three words, not complete sentence. Then, so you said careless, correct. The second part of a question didn't ask you about why to say because one, two, three. The second part of the question asked what? Give a quotation from the passage. It means you will find a part from the text that shows he is careless. Don't give a reason from your own. The reason you gave to us is using your own words based on your understanding, and it's incorrect. Even if it's correct, it's still incorrect. Le because we said stick to the question. Do exactly what the question is asking you. OK? So it's, it is not careless? No, no. Say he's careless. I mean, give a quotation from the text shows he's careless. Mr. Sukhanayat. Uh, Anas, you understand what I mean now? Yes, sir. You understand me? Yeah. Like, Good uh, job. Say like, like a, a part of my own, like uh, a, part of, uh, a part of the paragraph on and the... Good job. And Good job. You would find a part from the text shows he is careless. If you said something different from careless, so you must also find copy part of the text shows he is one, two, three. Let's see these answers. Number one. OK, Malik, tell me what's your answer. Okay. He's careless. That's the first part. The mm -hmm. second part. The second part, he said in the last paragraph that he would either laugh at her or worse. Just a moment in the last paragraph, he said. Yes, uh, he would either laugh at her or worse. Uh, and also the last line, he said he wasn't paying Happy much attention. attention. Yeah. OK, good job. Thank you. Also, look at the answer here. We can say his character is unreliable or irresponsible. OK. Irresponsible means he's not responsible about his actions because his sister 
was still waiting him for so long. He didn't care about her waiting. OK, here quotation from the text. This is a quote. Aaron was always later than they had agreed. This part is exactly in the text. So quotation is always copied from the text. And here is your own phrase. OK, unreliable or irresponsible from where I know that he said Aaron was always later than they had agreed. I can also say that Aaron is enthusiastic. Enthusiastic means very interested about what he likes. Eager. OK. Passionate. OK. How do I know that he is enthusiastic or interested in what he likes? He said here Aaron was still so wrapped up in all the details of his football match that he wasn't paying her much attention. And also he said Matt and I needed to discuss tactics. It means he is totally involved in football. Another way I can say he is sporty from where I know when he said here he was always chosen to play in the team. So now I can judge what sort of character um, Aaron is. I hope answers are clear. You understand yes. how how to follow instructions of the question very accurately. I repeat, please, if the question asked you to give a reason, 